Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith. My name is Chris Rosebro. I'm your servant in Jesus Christ, and this is Prophecy Bingo! That's right. We're doing Prophecy Bingo today, and guess what? We're doing something scandalous. Uh, we, I've invited <laughs> onto the program today. There's Doreen Virtue. Doreen Hello. Virtue, good to see you. So, uh, yeah, I've invited you on to do uh, Prophecy Bingo with us, and uh, I will note this, and I will note, and that is, is that we are in the middle of some kind of a scandal uh, regarding slanderous things said about you. Yeah. And, and, and let me just get this out at the top of the program, and, you know, as we're doing with this. And by the way, Josh and Nikki, you should say hi real quick. Hello. There, there you hi. go. Now we can. <laughs> All right, now Dorian, say hi again, so you come back to. Oh, me. hello. <laughs> so glad to be here. I'm glad that you're here too. So, you know, the, 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 the internet can sometimes turn into a tempest in a teapot, and it's always fascinating to me when people who claim to have discernment uh, traffic in lies mm -hmm. and and slander and things like that. And uh, and we've known each other now, well, probably better part of a year at uh -huh, this point. Yep. And uh, and I would note, uh, we, I interviewed you on Fighting for the Faith not that long ago, and we talked about your history. You you uh, came out of the New Age. I did. And, and when you were when you first became a Christian, your theology was wingnut wackerdoodle. It was uh, all over the place, and I still yeah. was using New Age terms and Christian terms, and I was confused. So everyone else was confused listening to me. Right, and uh, and so things that you said when you. First, were you know, well, like right before and then right after you became a Christian, uh, not helpful or sound or anything like that. In fact, you almost went NAR. I did. I was following two, well, one for sure NAR teacher, one Word of Faith teacher. And were it not for God pointing me to fighting for the faith and watching videos on these two teachers, I probably would be on your prophecy bingo on the other side same things yeah. that people would <laughs> yeah. be called. Because I, this is the truth. When I came out of the New Age, I thought, well, I have the gift of prophecy, so I'll be a prophetess. And that's where I was headed. And I was going to go to this um, woman's prophecy school in Florida. Oh, um, yeah. And, we, we, how much were you going to pay for that activation? It, by yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was going to learn how to see uh, sneaky squids. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. So uh, you, you really, really um, came to my rescue. And I'll be forever grateful because if it wasn't for your discernment ministry videos, I probably would be on a NAR stage telling yeah. people what God is saying. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we I thank God that uh, the God's word in my mouth, you know, God's word does all the work. Yes. Uh, it may, always makes me look a lot smarter than I am. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, in, in talking about this real quick, I mean, part of the kerfuffle is is uh, centered around a vision that you had. Yeah. Uh, that sent it, sent you into an Episcopalian church of all places, and uh, and, and so uh, and and so, as far as I know, in fact, all all of our conversations, both public and private, uh, you don't seem to be a purveyor of dreams and visions today. I have not had a vision since that one, and then I had one more, and they're gone, and I don't want them back. Um, yeah, I I filmed a lot about the vision and. I uh, really haven't put it into biblical context until recently with having yeah. conversations with yourself and Justin Peters. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. I really thought I was seeing Jesus. Now I'm, you know, I know I had that experience. I know it ended up pointing me to the Bible, which is what led to my salvation. And when I had that vision, I was not saved. I was a professional psychic seeing visions every single day. And yeah. so that's the context. And in fact, it's interesting. The last time I was on your program, uh, someone posted that old video of me in the tie-dye hippie gown on your YouTube channel in the remarks. And I called him to the carpet about it. I said, wait a minute, that's a video of me before I was saved. Yep. So, you know, it's, yeah. it's hard because I, when you come to Christ in adulthood, you usually have baggage. And my baggage is just three years ago. So I'm still dealing yeah. with consequences of my sin. Well, if it's any if it's any help, I mean, it's been, man, uh, twenty five. Uh, <laughs> oh man, okay, so it's been thirty years since I've been out of the latter rain. <laughs> yeah, I just did the math. It's about as old as I am. Quick yeah, wow. Okay, 
So if it's any consequence, I, I still have things that I'm working through. Uh, parts of my experience in the latter rain, I have not wanted to go back through and only now feel like I can begin to process some of the things that happened to me and, it's, uh, and, the, and the wickedness that I participated in when I was in the latter rain. So, you know, 30 years later, it's, it's something that I'm still working through. Yeah, I can see that sanctification happens for a lifetime. Indeed. Yeah, it, 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 you don't finish it this this side of your death, that's for sure. Yeah. So, well, I'm looking it, forward to seeing these uh, false prophets on Prophecy Bingo because I was a false prophet in the New Age. And- yeah, I think you might have some you ha- might have some insight as to how their techniques work. Now, I wanted to tell say this on 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 the program. You and I talked about this privately, uh, and I've maybe once or twice talked about this publicly. Um, there was uh, I've had two really weird visions in my life. Neither of them do I think come from God the Holy Spirit. I mean, he, uh, Hebrews one is so clear mm-hmm. that uh, you know in the past God spoke through the prophets, and now He's spoken to us through His Son. And, and so, but uh, the most recent one, and, and Josh can back me up on this because he was back from the Navy when it happened, yep. uh, is, uh, so it's the day before they announced uh, the new Pope. So Pope, pope Benedict had resigned, and uh, the, you know, all the Roman Catholic you know, cardinals had met together in the, uh, in the uh, Sistine Chapel, I think that's where they do it, you know, the, the white and the black smoke and all that kind of nonsense that goes along with their picking process. And uh, and they and they were they had been conclaved up for a bit of time and they had it hadn't come to a decision yet. Every time they took the vote, it was the wrong color smoke. And so went to bed the, that night, the day before the announcement. And about uh, so it was probably about five thirty six in the morning. I had the most vivid dream slash vision I've ever had. Uh, and and Josh, uh, we, you know, we, all of the members of our family, we we are we're on this application on our iPhones called um, Find Friends, and so you know my wife, she can track wherever I go. So if you know if I if I head off to the casino, she can call. No, I never do that. <laughs> yeah. We um, we we call it in our family the Eye of Sauron, or more specifically the Eye of Sar Mom. <laughs> the the Eye of Sar Mom. It, it, it's a lot easier to letting her know where I am than to get the phone call saying where are you because sometimes <laughs> When I go when I go shopping, I dawdle. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, so I, I you know so there I, I had this in this this dream vision. I was in Rome. It was so clear. It was all of these things, and I thought for a second. I said, "Oh my goodness! If Barb looks at the ISR mom, then uh, she's gonna freak out because she's gonna see that I'm in Rome." You know, I didn't tell her I was going to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her I was going. So I was really worried. So, uh, so it, it, in this vision, I was heading towards like the back part of the Sistine Chapel. I mean, there was a dumpster and there was a, a doorway that led to a set of stairs that went up and down. And this cardinal came running down the stairs and and he says, they picked the new pope. And I said, they picked the new pope. I said, what's the name that he's going to take for himself? He said, he's going to take the name of Francis. And and so I, and and no sooner does he say this, I woke up from this dream vision thing, and it was the weirdest experience. And uh, uh, when my wife got up in the morning, I I got up with her, and we were making the bed, and I told her what happened and what it, and what I'd seen, and she says that's just weird. And uh, and Josh, you know, he had just recently come back from the navy. He was living with us at the time, and I told him about it. He's all, yeah, that's pretty weird, Dad. So three in the afternoon, they announced that uh, that uh, that they had picked the new pope, and and so I was watching Fox News, and uh, and and so they they you know in Rome they cut to the balcony and they said you know that they've chosen the new pope, and some lady who was a spokesman said, and he's chosen for his name the name of Francis, and I I dropped the 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 glass of water that I was uh, holding and it broke the glass, and 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 Barb's all what what did they name that guy? They said he's gonna take the name Francis. She's all no way. And so what, what, at the moment, I sat there and go, okay, this is weird, okay, because I, it, it was such a, a strong vision. It was so clear. And then, and, and then I got data that, uh, that was clearly you know, nine hours ahead of what the announcement was. And, and at the time, I sat there and go, you know what? Here's the thing is, is that this, this, pro, this vision doesn't have a return address on it. I'm thinking, why would God tell me this? Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't make any sense at all that God would tell me this. And I was thinking about it. It's like, had I gone on Twitter, you know, in the morning and shared my dream, I, I could see how this would have played out. 
that uh, there were people saying, oh, Rosebro, you have a prophetic gift and you deny that the gifts are for today. I mean, it was so clear that I, I'm pretty sure that Patricia King would have sold her mother into slavery in the Sudan to have that kind of prof <laughs> prophetic ability. And, um, and, and it's like the whole thing from beginning to end, just there was, n there was never any indicator that said biblically that this, I should believe this was from God. And so I just chalked it up to a temptation of the devil, mm -hmm. and uh, and just rested back on Scripture and said, you know, the Bible's sufficient. I don't need any of this stuff, and it's quite the magic trick that I was able to know the name of the Pope nine hours before the Pope's name was announced, but big deal. So you get the idea. Absolutely, yeah. I feel so bad that what happened to me in my testimony has led to confusion, and uh, and I've repented for it and apologized. I'm really trying to put it into context, but what I do know is that vision I had was before I was saved. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So all of that being said, somebody pulling that vision from your time before you were saved forward as if somehow that's what you're teaching nowadays? I don't know. That seems like lying and deceit to me, but, uh, you know, I just work here. What do I know, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty rotten of him. Yeah, indeed. All right, all of that being said, let's do something fun, shall we? We're going to play some Prophecy Bingo. Now, a little bit of a note here. Um, I need to let the audience of Fighting for the Faith know this. Yeah, you can find our Prophecy Bingo cards at fightingforthefaith.com, fightingforthefaith.com. When you get there in the search bar uh, for the podcast, type in bingo, and then you will find this uh, this uh, this post from 2017. Oh my goodness, it's about the same time you had that, uh, that vision. Anyway, uh, it says Fighting for the Faith Prophecy Bingo. Click on the link that says click here to visit our Prophecy Bingo card generator. Now, we'll put a link to it down below in the description as a way of getting to it clicker. Uh, clicker? Clicker. Yeah, okay. So getting to it quicker. <laughs> uh, enough from you. you don't enough have, from you. You don't, you don't have yeah, to brain today. It's your birthday. Yeah. I know where you live, so just... <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do, call our pastor? <laughs> <sighs> okay, enough from you. <laughs> so so the idea here then is I need to tell everybody that when you get there, get you know I like to cl click on the new card link until I find a card that I think might have some promise. Once you have that card, either print it out or make a screenshot of it and then get off the website. The reason why is because we've been... Uh, uh, we've been swamping their servers. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we broke the site. <laughs> yeah, we, we broke, they broke the site, and they want to start charging me for uh, for uh, Fighting for the Faith Prophecy Bingo. So um, we're trying to find a way to not break their site anymore. So just want to let you know, print out your card or make a screenshot of it, and then get off the website so that other people can use it because we've been breaking their site. So... <laughs> All of that being said, uh, you, Josh and Nikki, you have your prophecy bingo card. Got it right there. All right, and uh, I, everyone knows I cheat, so there's no point in uh, <laughs> disputing and that. And there's gonna yeah. double cheat on your birthday, so yeah. Right on, right. right on. And then Doreen, you have your prophecy bingo card. I do indeed. Although these are pretty stacked words here. Okay. All right. So all of that being said, here's my prophecy bingo card. I'm gonna go ahead and take the free space because I can. And, uh, and we're going to get to it. We'll, we're just going to start working through some of these things. And uh, th th I auditioned a bunch of these things to see if anyone would make the cut. And so today we're going to, uh, who, what is this lady's name? Ignite the Fire Ministries. I think she's na named Raina. And, uh, and so this is her prophetic word for uh, May of 2020. Here we go. But I am putting teachings on dreams and visions and many of you i know you i know you guys are having dreams because you guys are commenting uh on my video saying oh i had this dream and that and so i'm not gonna be interpreting all your dreams i am teaching you how to interpret your own dreams. So watch them, watch these videos because you are going to learn what certain things are in your dreams and pretty quickly you get the hang of it and you begin understanding, oh, this animal symbolizes this and... Uh All right, dream interpretation. When you were in the New Age, Doreen, where, didn't you have... Did yes, you have, I actually is... wrote a book on the topic, so that was something that I was really into. Yeah, so does this sound any different than the stuff you were you were uh, peddling when you were a New Ager? See, this is an example of New Age with a Christian veneer. This is just plain old occult. 
Okay. All right. Which scripture forbids? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. All right. Well, let's continue. This, uh, if I see this, it symbolizes that it's going to take place or it's going to happen maybe around this time. So, anyways, I am slowly teaching, and uh, some of you are going to learn. It's like learning a language. It, you learn vocabulary, right? And dreams are very much the same. You will be learning vocabulary and language. So. Tune in. Uh, I already downloaded part one and downloaded. Download is a prophecy bingo word. I know that for a fact. Two. <laughs> so go into my channel and you are going to find them, you guys. So um, I'm trying to teach you. So tune in. And uh, again, like I said, don't forget to tap on that bell so that you get notified when I'm putting something new in. Okay, so let's get right into the word, you guys. I am really excited to what the Lord uh has been uh, has been placing in my heart and uh, <coughs> seriously the <laughs> word that came to me and is for this month and you can apply it every single day and I know that you are watching right now because the Lord wants to speak to you at this very moment mm. so the no, actually, the reason why I'm watching is to play Prophecy Bingo. <laughs> you know, oh, so bad. Yeah. You know, I, she's talking about dream interpretation, and I'm just sitting there thinking about all the crazy dreams I've had through sleep deprivation. Oh. And there is no way, there is no <laughs> way she'd be able to interpret any of my mm-hmm. dreams. I mean, me fighting somebody with spatulas for hands, I'm just thinking there is no, <laughs> there is no interpretation for that. What is the prophetic symbols of that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she really? seems to be blending prophecy, the Lord speaking to her. She's teaching people to speak or receive messages from the Lord with uh, dream interpretation. That's an interesting attempt to blend these two. Yeah, that's a hybrid that should not be permitted mm-hmm. to occur. All right, well, let's hear what the prophetic word is, though. You know, we, we, let's see <laughs> what this is all about. What here. that came to me, what the Lord said to me was, why not today? Why not today? And when I heard that, I was like, why not today? What do you mean, Lord, why not today? He was saying to me that a lot of you, a lot of people are are saying, Lord, when is it going to happen? Oh, Lord, I want this and oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. But he said to me, why cannot, why can it not happen today? Today can be the day where that one thing will change. What thing? Oh, my goodness. This reminds me so much of myself in the New Age. That false hope she's giving. Yeah. It's straight out of 2 Timothy uh, 4. It's just, uh, she's tickling itching ears. This is not good. And also, God, if he did talk, he wouldn't talk this way. He wouldn't say, why not today? (laughs) Yeah, why not? (laughs) <laughs> and and for that one thing, well, what, well, what is the one thing? Well, it might that's whatever that mm-hmm. one thing is. It, it might be different for you than it is for me. You know what's dangerous too is she could be encouraging someone to take whatever wacky idea they have in their head and think that it's confirmation, it's from God, and go take care of something that's not biblical. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, you know, like you know, killing their bookie, you know, or something. Exactly. <laughs> that's a rather extreme example, but yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I just, you know, reach it in, try and pull something absurd out. So, you know. Today's the day I'm going to tip that cow. <laughs> There's a book on, uh, called uh, about cow tipping. I'm yeah. not surprised by this. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Day will be the day that you will bring that one thing to change. And let me tell you, things don't change because you have not spoken it into existence. And the- Wait a second. I'm God. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. wh- Doreen, wh- how successful are you at uh, speaking things into existence? I used to think I was. That's what the New Thought, Word of Faith, Prosperity Gospel, New Age teaches, but it does not work. Okay. Yeah. And she's is- encouraging people to do that. Mm-hmm. I don't think God's talking to her. I, I think there's mm-hmm. probably good reason to think he's not. Okay. One of the things I want to point out is when you have a YouTube channel like she does, and mm-hmm. you're under pressure to have content come up, is that you really start just babbling like she's doing. She's just talking. And, you know, there's obviously no inspiration behind it. But even more so when 
she seems to be um, just doing this to have content on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, so you gotta gotta get something out. So we'll just say a bunch of nothing, and you know, <laughs> gotta put, chase put, that algorithm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you gotta right, get longer going. than ten minutes too. Yep. Uh, let's see if we get to some something substantive here. I mean, this <sighs> prophetic onesie seems to be a little weird, but okay. Let, here was we go. saying to me, oh my goodness, you guys, this word is like, is is like wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that the Lord was saying to me that we have the ability because of his son, Jesus, to speak into the things that are not as though they were. And so we are not. I'm pretty sure the biblical text says that God calls the things that are not as though they were, that we aren't the ones speaking to the things that are not as though they were. That's a. Yeah, you're misappropriating a biblical text here that talks about what the deity does, our God, and now saying that's what we do. Okay, let's keep going. Seeing changes. We are not seeing a transformation. We are not seeing things happening to our... Transformation is a Bible prophecy word. Because we are not speaking into our situation. We possess the power in the tip of our tongue. And you, you can make your own difference. You can change your situation around by what you speak into the situation. And the Lord was saying that we can change our situation. We can change. That didn't work for Ken Copeland, uh, you know, in the whole COVID-19. COVID-19! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that oh, didn't man. work for him. You know, no. he, he's, he's, he, in fact, he even spoke to the atmosphere, man, and, and that didn't work. Just mm-hmm. a bunch of wind. All right, let's, uh, let's move along here. And uh, she didn't really give me anything. I'm really, I'm very disappointed. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Kevin Bridges. Hang on a second here. Uh, yes, this is his... Uh, prophetic word for May. Let's uh, dial this in and see if we can uh, at least succeed in some prophecy. Bingo. Here, See someone here walking through a tunnel, and as they're walking, everything is dark, everything is dim. They can't see so clearly. At times, they're walking slowly, checking exactly where they're walking, but they know that this tunnel is the right path, and they keep going. Then suddenly, uh, suddenly, suddenly, oh, uh, uh, that's ah, one of my. Pro- yes, hang on a second. Ah, drew first All right. blood. Yeah, I I got it. I got first blood at the same time you did. Oh, so. uh, you special. Do we have the exact same card? Oh my goodness! Too? No, we might actually. Oh we yeah, we have we the exact same. Have we have the exact, exact same card. card. Oh, oh no. that's awkward. That's really awkward. All right, we'll oh, just keep no. going. We we can see how this is going to work. <laughs> Notice a glimmer of light. And what do they do? They begin to move more quickly. They begin to run because they know the end of the tunnel is near. The Lord says to you, I'm giving you a glimmer of light. I want that you run towards me, that you run towards that which I have promised you, that you run with all of your might, that you run in... So God wants me to run with all of my might in a dark tunnel that has no light. That was like a really great setup for a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. Yeah, this uh, this isn't going to end it, well. Is it just me or is this one just kind of extra creepy? This is really... <laughs> yeah, it's like a guided meditation or something that's mixing... It, it's so blasphemous, too. Isn't that a picture of it supposedly of the tomb? Isn't that where... It like maybe like, like I, you cuz you can see the stone to the right like this the Yeah yeah I yeah that may be an art, a, artistic depiction of the empty tomb of Christ. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, let's keep going yeah, here in this this guided meditation sure. where I'm supposed to run with all of my might in the dark. If for I am the one who is opening the way forward for you. I am the light at the end of the tunnel. Come towards me. Run into my loving embrace. And know that I am in the, in the movie Poltergeist. Weren't you supposed to avoid the light? You know, <laughs> well, no, don't it, don't go into the light. Yeah, <laughs> this is so also weird. Also, if you're a moth, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't help it. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you, I'm giving you a future and a hope. I'm blessing you this day. 
Blessings. Blessing. All right. Yeah. Okay. So blessing it is. Let's. Uh, let's. Yeah, where is that on the? It's oh yeah. Right. Here it is. Okay. Right there. A blessing. Okay, we've got the same card. Yeah, we have the same card. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know how that happened either. Uh, the random uh, generator thingy did, wasn't random enough. <laughs> it's it's going to make my editing job that one? much easier. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can see how this is going. Hopefully, uh, under these circumstances, then Doreen wins so that you don't. Uh, I, have, I, I don't have any cheats. squares yet. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Maybe about this is this. part of the uh, birthday cheats. Is two more sets of eyes on the same uh, card, huh? <laughs> Happy birthday! Okay, here's uh, here Jolyn Whitaker and her uh, prophetic word: America, China, stealth plans, and Jesus May second, twenty twenty. Okay. Okay, let's see what she said. God did it for them, he will do it for me. So you begin to not only establish a trust in the Lord, but a confidence in the Lord, and your faith increases. Amen. Praise God. So I'm used to God giving Increase. prophetic words that come to pass. Amen. Increase. Okay. All right. Yeah, they, see, this is awesome. I'm getting all kinds of help today. <laughs> <laughs> You might need it. <laughs> he definitely needs it. Yeah, this is not a might. This is for sure I need it. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, and, and that is nothing but a humbling privilege. However, today it's going to be uh, a word, and it is highly prophetic. This is uh, definitely a prophetic release, but it's going to be... Release? It's, it's definitely a prophetic mm -hmm. release. I mean, uh. no, notice how she's talking up this... Uh, this you know, and if, if it were really a prophetic release, would you need to say that it's a prophetic release and that it really is that? I'm prepared for maximum disappointment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going here. Regarding things that are of a global nature, amen. And so I guess I want to say that right at the top of the broadcast, that as I begin to delve into what the Lord has given me as my assignment for this word, I just want to encourage you to open your heart and open your mind. Uh, and, and let me just say this. I'm not going to be sharing my own opinions at all. We are going to just hear the word of the Lord. This would what? Why would you have to say that you're not going to share your opinions at all? This Again, this is fishy. Mm -hmm. This is false advertising. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. What you to do? Hear the word of the Lord and then watch and pray. Keep your eyes open. For things to just unfold and manifest. Praise the Lord. But wherever you are tuning in from, I want to say welcome to the broadcast. Praise the Lord. This is going to be a prophetic word for the month of May 2020. But uh, everything the Lord is going to speak on today, we are going to see this begin to manifest immediately. Somebody say immediately. But also, uh, we are all, we are going to continue to see it unfold and come to pass and manifest right through even November of 2020. You say, well, that's a very long span of time. It absolutely is. So it's going to immediately manifest all the way through November. How is she defining the word immediately? Yeah, okay, all right. God is getting ready to do some very big things. This is an incredible and very exciting time to be in the body of Christ. Amen. And, you know, we know uh, we've been saying this for quite some time that if you are alive here in this time, in, the, in this time, if you are alive here on the planet, that I assure you, nobody dead right now is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we hope not. Those poor souls. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? I assure you, if you're alive right now, well, I'm assuming everybody watching right now is. I mean, that kind of goes without unless saying. It's, unless it's a Todd Bentley uh, video where you get resurrected. <laughs> oh, yeah. I oh, forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is such classic false prophecy where you just spit out whatever you're thinking without any kind of filter. It's the, it is the <laughs> word salad here. Okay, all right, so this yeah. is word salad, no filter, just jumbled. Okay, none of this makes any sense. It means that you, <coughs> excuse me, carry something very significant. God always saves the best for last. Amen. We oh, of course. That's, for me, that's always the case, yeah. 
<laughs> Notice she's scratching itching ears here. Yeah. And coughing okay. on screen. No, she might got she might got the Rona. <laughs> Oh, no. She needs to be tested. We are deep into the last days. We know that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is coming back soon. We can look around us and see all the confirmations that we are in the last moments of the last days. Yeah, you know, like false prophets You know that that Jesus told us about. I'm Mm -hmm. I'm in agreement with her here, yeah. Mm -hmm. The question of are we in the last days? Oh, we're in the last days. We're in the last moments of the last days. And so the fact that you are here, the fact that God did not cause you to be born in any other timeline, any other period of history, any other era, era, no, he chose you to be alive on the planet now. And it doesn't matter how young or how old you are, just the fact that you are here while all of these things are taking place. And as you're going to begin to see This prophetic word for May of 2020 begin to manifest and unfold right through even November of 2020. So too, I I think that's her audio. I you know that's Mm -hmm. doing that. Okay, and she didn't see that one coming. No, yeah, (laughs) this is. I I just feel like she's you know buttering people up. Oh wow, I'm important. Oh wow, Mm -hmm. I yeah, I was I was made for such a time as this. Uh huh. Yeah, that's uh. That's not a good sign. Many of you see your destiny begin to blossom. Your purpose began to blossom. I got purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Yeah, and I'm going to see if I can. Destiny on there anywhere? Let's see. I'm going to see if I can do something to speed up my internet just in case there. There we go. All right, let's keep going. So you're on the board now, Doreen. You're on the board. Very good. A role, uh, the thing that God is going to call you to do, opportunities and assignments, and he's going to uh, open up for you. Many people here are going to see those things coming to pass and opening up even May 2020 through November of 2020. Let that be a word of confirmation for somebody because I hear the Holy Spirit saying that there are many people watching even now, even now you have been, you've just had a knowing in your spirit. That is the very best way that I can possibly describe it. You've had a knowing in your spirit that something is building. We have all been affected by the global lockdown that occurred as a result of the COVID-19 virus, right? Which none of the prophets saw coming. Yeah, just saying. But that, what what you've been feeling in your spirit isn't necessarily because of that. It's nothing to do with that. It may, it may be coming about as a result of it, but it's not connected to it. You simply know that there's something shifting around you. Ah, shifting, shifting. Got that one. Hang on a second. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Nice catch. (sighs) Yeah. Glad I can help out. (laughs) (laughs) He's pulling his weight on this team now. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's, we're now Team Rose, bro. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Something coming alive inside of you. You know that God has put you here for such a time as this. You oh, know boy. that this season is different. Many of you, I hear you, Lord. Many of you, uh, thus say the Lord, that you can sense that there is something coming. It's going to be highly personal. It's going to be relative to the body of Christ. It's going to be impactful uh, to the kingdom agenda. Hallelujah. And so. Uh, what on earth is she talking about? Do you notice that every false prophet throws in that Esther verse yeah. and twists it and makes it about um, scratching someone's ears? Yeah, I am so important. I, this is this is my time, man. And it, 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 the best way I can put it is these kinds of prophecies are like fishing for narcissists. You know, people who are uh, obsessed with themselves and believe, oh my goodness, I I know that I'm super duper important. And uh, and and see the, the the prophetess of God just told me how amazing I really am. Ooh, you know. And then, but she's not saying anything. Mm-mm. All right, let's keep going here. This word is for you. Praise the Lord. And then- What's the word again? <laughs> <laughs> what word is it? Get on with it. <laughs> 
there are going to be many more people who simply are highly concerned because you see the landscape of the world, not just the country that you are in, but you see the landscape of the entire world. And you know that there are some very big, very insidious things going on. I am not a conspiracy theorist. I'm, I don't keep up with conspiracy theories. I couldn't tell you one. Uh, here's the funny thing. My husband is, is here in the control booth and he can be my witness. I don't even watch the news. The fact that the Lord has me to be speaking on these things is really, a, a, it's, it's a mystery to me because I don't even keep up. Oh, that proves that she's hearing from God because she doesn't know even one conspiracy theory. It's true that she learns from learns stuff from God because she's completely clueless. Yeah, I guess that's the one way to put it. Okay. <laughs> On news. Um, but nevertheless, this is what the Lord is going to be having us look at on today. This is going to be a prophetic word specifically for America, for China, for stealth plans that are underway, for the Lord's kingdom agenda. Everybody say kingdom agenda. There is an agenda that we in the kingdom of the Lord, uh, lovers and followers of Jesus Christ, we've got to get in alignment with this thing. Alignment is a prophecy bingo card word. Got to hear what heaven is saying. Amen. And so this is going to be a prophetic word regarding all of those things. I believe it's going to answer a lot of your questions. Praise God. I, I can't wait to have all my questions answered. Number one, my first question is, what is the word? We're 15 minutes into this and still hasn't said the darn thing. All right. I'm going to do what I've done a few times. I'm going to put her on, on double speed because she ain't saying nothing. <laughs> so she can say nothing twice as fast. Okay. Here we go again. My name is Jolyn Whitaker. For those of you who know me, you know that we are a prophetic ministry. This is simply what the Lord has called me to do. And it is absolutely an honor. Uh, definitely the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life, but also the most fulfilling thing. Amen. Uh, and I say that in case you are new to the ministry. I want to invite you to take notes, write down everything uh, the Holy Spirit is going to speak and impart on today. That will help you um, to build your faith. And that will really help you to just get a little closer to the Lord and begin to really understand that he will, he's faithful to reveal things. He's faithful to expose things. He's faithful uh, to, to honor his own word where he says, I do nothing uh, without revealing it to my servants, the prophets first. And that. Ah, uh, Micah, uh, Micah, out of context, God does nothing unless he reveals it to his prophets first. I would say COVID-19 was uh, done. <laughs> Without anybody, any prophet seeing it coming, that just blows that out of the water. Have you noticed okay. when she keeps kind of doing like the seeker driven thing of everybody say this? Mm. Yeah. Hey, kingdom, oh, yeah. say whatever. Yeah, whip people up into a mantra frenzy, you know? Yes, me, robot, me, are, say, thing, you say. Are people really saying that at home, though? Like, oh, some people are, so... probably. Yeah. And, and the whole purpose of that is to lower your, your mind's natural defenses when it comes to yeah. skepticism. It's because so... when somebody says, do something, and then you do it, your mind goes, well, I guess we're, we're just, we're, it's okay for this person yeah. to tell us what to do. It's so jarring yeah. watching that and nobody's responding, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so Doreen, does she seem nervous to you? She seems sad. I'm praying for her. Okay. She seems like she wants to be a female prophet, a female pastor almost, the way she's saying, can I get an amen? I mean, that's what you see from the Pentecostal podiums. Yeah. Right? Yep. So uh, I just don't understand what, why she's here and why she's doing this. Yeah. And and there's there's, there's a real frenetic uh, just yeah, kind of nervous energy mm -hmm. to her that does you know yeah, just makes me wonder sometimes somebody asks me they'll say do these people know they're false prophets or are they just deceived well, and with somebody who behaves this nervously i i sit there and think you know they probably know they're just spinning their wheels yeah so. i mean and when i was a false prophet i i really thought i was getting genuine messages from god and angels and jesus it was it was blasphemous, but I didn't know that because I hadn't studied the Bible yet. So she mm -hmm. seems like she's just got enough biblical knowledge, you know, Malachi and Esther, uh, to be dangerous. Yeah, and she's just basically using these phrases that people would mm -hmm. recognize as biblical to basically make it it's add legitimacy to this illegitimate prophecy. So, all right, let's keep going. Like We're going at twice the speed here because she's been saying nothing 
and getting taking a long time doing it. So. Increase your faith, amen, which is critical and required for where you are going. Praise the Lord. So without any further hesitation, uh, why don't I, let me do this. Let's, I'm going to ask you to share the broadcast if you have not yet done so already. And I know that a lot of our um, followers, y'all have probably already shared. And I love you so much for that. I thank you so much for that. That has nothing to do with us trying to promote ourselves. You're not going to hear me promote anything or try to sell or peddle anything. But I am shamelessly and unapologetic. I am pretty sure you're <laughs> promoting yourself there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> share this but i'm not promoting myself okay that's weird to promoting the kingdom of jesus christ to promoting the name of jesus christ to preaching and prophesying salvation and new life through jesus christ new life here on earth everlasting life with jesus after this life expires amen so i'm unapologetic about that and we, you know, being in the last days it's a very crucial thing praise god you may have some people in your family or even on your friends list they don't want to talk to you about these things they don't want to hear about it from you you've already tried to talk to them about salvation you've already tried to talk to them about jesus you know they don't want to hear it they're just at a place where you know, maybe they, they tell you something, like, listen, if that's your religion, that's fine, I'll respect it, but don't shove it down my throat or something like that, right? Well, that's okay, I'll be the heavy. You can just send them this link or share this broadcast with them, and maybe a prophetic word like this will be just what they need. Isn't one of the signs of somebody who's a false teacher is that they're double-minded? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm just saying that because, you know, on the one hand, she says that she doesn't promote herself, she promotes the kingdom, but that she's promoting herself. And 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 I'll be the heavy, you know, and I'll. Just... And she hasn't said anything. She's saying, "Oh yes, please share this video, and I'll be the heavy." You, we're over eighteen minutes in, and she hasn't said anything. If anything, if anybody sends them this, they're gonna be like, "Well, that's it. I'm going for atheism." <laughs> yeah, she says nothing really slowly. Yeah, you know, nervously though too. To hear and to see as it manifests, to help them to understand that we serve a God who is not only ever present not only loves us with an everlasting love, but he is actively involved in the goings on of men. That he has a very specific plan for every single person's life because he loves every single person. Amen. I gotta be careful because I can easily just begin to prophesy and evangelize a little bit, praise the Lord. But on today I have an assignment and that is to release this prophetic word regarding America, regarding China, regarding some wicked things exposed uh, and the kingdom agenda and what the Lord is uh, doing and what he is calling us to in this season. So I wanna thank you for the shares. Uh, maybe you started a watch party. Maybe you shared it to some group. Season, season is- Did she say yeah. new thing also? Um, I do believe I she said she that. I think she did. She also yeah. said kingdom. Yep. I've got yeah, new thing if she said that. There yeah, count it. Yeah, go for yeah. it. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to give that to you. <laughs> All right, let's keep going on here. On Facebook, uh, on Periscope, if you shared it with your followers, I want to thank you for that. Praise the Lord. And on YouTube, I know that you can also just, you know, tag friends and people in the comments, I think. Um, but however you share it, I want to say thank you. And now would you pray with me? Uh, I want to just set the atmosphere, and then we're going to get right into the word. Amen. Atmosphere. atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a prophecy bingo word. COVID-19 atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Heavenly Father, I, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, Father, to serve you yet again. I ask you to saturate this place, O oh God, with your spirit, with your power, O oh Lord. Let your spirit, Lord, just, just just saturate even from center to circumference, this whole place, Father, even crossing boundaries and barriers, O oh Lord, to touch every single person that has uh, been drawn to receive this word, God. And I do thank you that your Holy Spirit is going out all over the world, Lord, to all the corners of the earth, to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and drawing people to hear what you have to say, to hear what thus saith the Lord. So many voices in this hour, O oh God, so many... Yeah, God is not drawing anybody to hear this drivel. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and I, I would say that uh, anybody listening to this is not hearing the word of the Lord. We kind of determined that already, mm -hmm. just by the p pure number of buzzwords that she said, and that she isn't saying anything. Mm -mm. All right, let's keep going. Voices in this hour, oh God. Father, I yield myself to you. I yield myself to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now, let the people see not Jolene Whitaker, but only you. Let them hear not my voice, Lord, but only your voice. Take from me my thoughts and my words and replace them, God, with your thoughts and your words. Help me, God, to release this and to speak this the way you want me to. That you may be glorified and that the people may be helped, oh God. I'm careful, Lord, as always, to give you and only you the glory for all the things that are going to result as, as a product of this prophetic word. For the anointing that is present that's going to shift lives. For the revelation that's going to come forth, even the activation, prophetic activation, God, I thank you. Activation I, is a prophecy word. She also word. said anointing. Yeah, she did. Okay. Spirits, uh, that is going to shift lives and help people to step into the season that you're calling them to, oh God. I give you season. Season. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. that, yeah. But, yeah. On the glory. And so, Lord, as you do what you're getting ready to do among the nations, oh, as you do what you are getting ready to do even in the church, hallelujah, glorify yourself, Lord, and then glorify yourself again. I exalt you. I praise you. I worship you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Before I get started, I, I hear the Lord telling me to just confirm to every single person that is listening that you are precious to him, that he has a plan for your life, that he has... Yeah, the scriptures tell me that I'm precious to God, <laughs> that, uh, that God in his mercy and his great love for me has sent his son to bleed and die for my sins. God so loved the world, you know, things like that. Okay. Things for your life, you say, well... Bring it on, because I haven't seen anything good. I have been in a prolonged struggle. Where is this God you speak of? Did, she, you she say, did she say Rhema? Is that what she said? Um, I thought she did, and that's yeah, on my I, card. Yeah, Rhema. Yeah. I think I could have sworn she said I don't even know what that word means. 
Oh, it's uh, it, rhema is one of the Greek words for word. Oh, so logos and rhema, okay. and, and in the in the charismatic Pentecostal circles, uh, they claim that uh, rhema it, it always means a, a prophetic word, a direct revelation from God, and it's just patently false. Okay, well that's uh, on my card. All right, I don't think we would get that one. I dive shame. Okay, sweet. All right, l- yeah, good, good catch, the, Joshua. Way, I, I better take that while I can here. Yeah, we go. <laughs> We're gonna need a favor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's come back to Joe Lynn. And let me show you how fast I will draw near to you. Remove your doubts. Let me come into your life. Let me heal you. Let me shift you. Let me get you to a place where your mind is healed, where you she are delivered, where your heart yeah, is repaired. Did. I can heal even your broken heart. Says the Lord. Allow me to rebuild your life upon the solid rock that is Jesus Christ, and then I'm gonna put you and put you and shift you into a brand new season. But you gotta come to me. And that is a brand new season. For many people listening. God wants to give you a new season. It's not going to end this way. He wants to give me a new season. Well, if he wants to, we should just get on with it. I mean, honestly, we're still kind of stuck in, like, winter land up here a little bit. We kind of need spring to actually happen. (laughs) I'm with you on this one. And to that I say amen and amen. (laughs) (laughs) Of course, we're going to renew your hope. And at the end of this message, I'm going to pray with you. And it's going to begin a new season for you. Amen. Come on, dare to hope. Dare to hope. God is not like people. I know that people have been... Interesting, and that's probably a very nice word to use, right? That's maybe even a mild word, but God is not like people. He doesn't betray you. He doesn't leave you. He doesn't tell you one thing and then do another. He's not going to change it up on you. He's not going to be nice one day and then jack up the next day. No, God loves you, and he's not going to change. Amen. Well, let's build Let's build a foundation, and let's begin by releasing this prophetic word, and then we're going to pray together at the end. Amen. I'm going to prophesy for everything. So we are at the 23-minute mark, and I've been playing this at double speed. She still has not gotten to this prophetic word. Yeah, she hasn't gotten to the stuff about America and China. No. Or the stealth plan. This is like, yeah. you know, if, if she was a hype man, she'd be so terrible. People are walking <laughs> out of the theater. <laughs> okay. Presence, because there's an agenda for the kingdom of God, and we, we need to get into alignment. Uh, so last week... Um, alignment alignment is, is a word. Alignment, mm-hmm. yeah, that is a word. Yep. Uh, can we get some of the pictures ready? Can I send? Thank you. The Lord had me to prophesy that he was going to expose hidden agendas regarding the food supply of the nations. Uh, and, and I immediately did that, and I was obedient to the Lord, and I believe it was just this past Wednesday morning, as a matter of fact. Uh, today is Saturday, May 2nd, so that was just a few days ago. And um, and I'm very grateful because I watched the news, but somebody showed this to me, and it blew my mind. And she doesn't know any uh, any conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> the economy has shut down. There might be a food shortage. Who could put those two together? Right, and I would note that uh, two was it two and a half, two you know, th- almost three weeks ago, we were told about the you know the the fact that meat uh, the meat factories were having difficulties, and Trump had to like order them to stay open, you know. <sighs> but she doesn't read the news. No, not at all. No, this <laughs> this is fresh from heaven. So very next day, this is what happens. Can we put up that picture of um, the Whole Foods and the 365 brand? Now, I'm building a foundation as we move into the word um, that, that God is going to release here, but look at, look at what God did just the very next day. And I gotta give God all the glory. Now, I, if you are a, a person who loves this particular store, I mean, I have loved going there in the past. I, my mind was blown to find out that their store brand is primarily supplied by China. And this is a store that is very well known for its organics, for non-GMOs, for healthy food. And it just came out, uh, and, and it hit uh, just a few days ago, that their own store brand, uh, it, the, the organic status is highly questionable. The agencies that they get their clearance and approvals from turn out to be a third party, very sketchy agency over in China. And it begs the question, why is this company bringing in foodstuffs from China, right? And so this is just... As long as they're not bringing in bat, I mean, we should be all right. Bat soup. Sorry, sorry. We're going we're gonna to get demonetized. Or something. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Of the exposure that we have, that, that the Lord had to prophesy just a few days ago, and God would have to say that he's just getting started. Uh, we, we heard from the Lord this past Wednesday that there were even farmers here in America where I, where I live who have been under a great stress and duress because they have been instructed by companies they have contracts with to um, to destroy their own crops, to pour out milk, to slaughter the meats because there is no demand for it. And that begs the question, how is there not a demand for it when um, some economists are calling, uh, are pre- predicting that we are potentially looking at uh, a famine of biblical proportions? Well, what this is is further substantiation of what the Lord spoke on Wednesday morning, that there is a wicked plot that has been hatched in the bowels of hell and is being perpetuated and carried out by wicked, greedy people here on earth to contaminate and control the food supply. Now, that's what the Lord spoke on Wednesday. He said they want to contaminate it and they want to control it. Why? Why does anybody want to do that? Well, when you can contaminate the food, then you can control the population of the people. And when you control the food, then you control the people. Because people are willing to do many things when they're hungry, when they're starving, when their families are going hungry, when, when families see their children starving. All right? So let's just put that out there. And the Lord is the Lord is exposing it. He's doing exactly what he said he would do. And I knew he was going to do it. Man, I'll tell you what, when it happened the very next day, that blew in my mind. Praise the Lord. At the beginning of this whole coronavirus. Okay, this went really weird. Yeah, okay. it's Machiavelli yeah. 101. What did he 
contaminating the food with? Oh, that, that doesn't. That's not important. It's just that it's contaminated. Okay. Yeah. We're. Uh, oh no. Okay. okay. Um. Have you uh Have you heard of Princess? Uh, we call her Princess Ebola. Have you heard of Princess Ebola Adelani? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I was a sad person like this too at one time, and people prayed for me. So I'm praying for yeah. all these false prophets. Yeah, we you, we need to be praying for this. This yeah. woman, um, oh, big energy. Yeah, yeah but she's got a lot of energy, <laughs> and does. she has a huge following. You know, so um, and this is, I mean, this video alone has almost ten thousand views. And and people watch her because they think that, that she's hearing from the Lord, and and she really is kind of captivating and somewhat entertaining too. Bola adu me here, pastor, prophet, teacher, apostle, kingdom printer, kingdom coach. She's an apostle and a prophet. She, I think she's a, she's a, she's the entire fivefold ministry wrapped up in one person. <laughs> <laughs> So we keep going here. Thought of the master's mind on total success. You must have a copy of this amazing book. Hello, pick up Amazon.com. The master's mind on total success. And um, may you find at royalproclamations.com. I'm here with a prophetic word for May. Welcome to spectacular May. My God, my God. The month of magnificent wonders my god my god get ready people of god a month of prophetic movements and shifts the lord said get ready Shifting. for the spectacles oh, yeah, for spectacles and the spectacular okay praise god praise god i'm gonna break it down you know i'm gonna break it down and and the lord yeah this prophecy is already broken down um okay <laughs> this this is not from god i this no. is weird okay to me from um exodus from um, 14 15 and this is what the lord is saying he says from exodus 14 15 and i'm quoting why do you cry to me have i not commanded you move forward my god my god my yeah, she just patted herself on the back there. Um, so that's really frightening. So from uh, the book of Exodus, the children of Israel now up against the Red Sea, and uh, and God commanding the, the, the Moses to go and to part the waters of the Red Sea and for the children of Israel to move forward. And and somehow, uh, yeah. So she the quote was, "Why do you cry out to me? I have I not commanded you to move forward?" Well, I ain't part of the you there. Uh, the the you there is the children of Israel who were stuck at that moment, whom God miraculously uh, delivered. So, um, and uh, I don't usually make a habit of like you know patting myself on the back, uh, you know, after I preach a sermon. That would be weird. Um, okay, this is um, hmm. Well, good word, Holy Spirit. Catch this word. Catch this word. And so I'll give you a bra background of what's going on here before I kind of really break it down. You see, um, the children of Israel, you know, had been delivered um, supernaturally. I've got supernatural. So yeah. Isn't <laughs> yeah, deliverance you, you, a word as well? Yeah, I do believe it is. So, yep. It, okay. All right. Let's catching keep, up. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Way to go, Dory. Way flinch. to go. <laughs> it's beginner's luck. Uh, uh. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, yeah. like, you know, it doesn't matter who wins. We're listening to this. Everybody uh, loses. Yes, at, some point it'll turn, at some point, it'll turn into cheater's luck, too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just have to see how the shape of my card downloads, you know. Oh. So then oh. I. Uh, <laughs> How prophetic. <laughs> praise God. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, ouch. Praise God. Okay, let's keep going here. And they were on their way to the promised land. They were on the way to possess the promise. My God, my God. And then they suddenly seem to be faced with this giant, this opposition, you know, this obstacle that they didn't really see coming. You know, they didn't see it coming. Praise God. Praise God, and 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 that was when you know they cried. They didn't see it coming. 
praise God. That doesn't make any sense. It's a, yet again another form of prophetic Tourette's, just like it's, the K Nash it's, effect. It's like K Nash, and there was a demon. Jesus, you know, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I I don't understand this weird stuff here. They keep God repeating and, themselves and, too. Uh, yeah, they they are really good at saying absolutely nothing, nothing, you know. God gave them this word prophetically. He spoke through Moses and said, why are you crying to me? You know, go forward, move forward. Praise God. Praise God. And that is exactly what God is saying to us. And I feel like we can relate to, to the children of Israel because, um, you know, many of us started 2020 on a very high note, you know, really very excited. We're going for the promised land. We're possessing the land. <laughs> You know, I was going for the promised land at the beginning of 2020. I was you know. living. You, we live in North Dakota. There's nothing Th this promised is, about this no, land. This is, um, this is American Siberia. There's nothing promising about this. <laughs> Except for the fact, we promise you, it will be cold. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, who, who is sitting there going, oh, yeah, man. January 2020, I was going right for that promised land. Yeah, this is uh, the theology behind this is nuts. And uh, we thought, yeah, finally out of the wilderness. And then voila, <laughs> on the way, come in comes COVID-19, which we did. Yeah, which you didn't prophesy. Yeah, nope. again, again, yeah it's, it's always bad, you know, when the prophets were completely caught off guard. I, I loved it when Sean Bowles' uh, <laughs> prophecy conference was canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, Princess Ebola didn't see the coronavirus. <laughs> No, nah, she didn't see it coming. It she didn't sounds see... like she's about to say that. She said, which we did. And it sounds no, like you I, paused. I, I can, I, Is I she going to say which up. we didn't see coming? Context. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that. But uh, I, I will say this. As somebody who has watched many, too many, way too many, uh, Princess Ebola uh, prophecies, she seems a little low energy to me compared to how she's been in the past. Yeah, this is definitely a lower energy than normal. It's like, a little deflated. Yeah, it, it 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 makes me wonder: Have these false prophets finally, for real, taken the hit, and people are seeing them as 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 the false prophets they are? I, I've so. been following some of the some of the analytics of some of these channels, and yeah, there has been a, an actual deep dive downward in actual viewers and and subscribe new subscribers. They're really they're they are hurting financially. Okay, interesting. And especially All during right. a time when most people are getting out at of, home out of, watching yeah. YouTube or yeah. Netflix or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I backed it up ten seconds just to see if we if she was going to say that she didn't see COVID nineteen coming. Let's keep going uh, here. Yeah. Finally, out of the wilderness, and then voila, <laughs> on the way come in comes COVID nineteen, which we didn't really see coming. <laughs> <laughs> you called it, Nikki. You called it. Yeah. Up top. So. I must be a prophet. <laughs> no, your pastor says no. No. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Let, let's keep going here. So, you know, like the children of Israel, we're at this place where we had to pause, crying out to God, confused, bewildered, you know, really thinking it was the, it's the end. Praise God. And the, the interest is... We think it's the end. Praise, praise God. God. Ouch. This does not make any sense. Her no. praise gods are weird. So uh, what do you make of this, Doreen? I, I mean, even at my worst as a false prophet, I don't remember repeating myself over and over like this. Okay. So I just think that she's trying to comfort herself like someone who rocks a lot tries to comfort themselves. Mm. So it's just okay. her, her fallback to, I, I really, watching these prophets, I think they're getting convicted by the Holy Spirit, and then they're trying to talk themselves out of the conviction. Ah, mm -hmm. so the, that's a dangerous thing to do, by the way. Mm -hmm. You do not want to suppress, you know, the, the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it, over and again, uh, when people do that, Scripture refers to them as being stiff-necked and, re and resisting the work of the Holy Spirit. So... Uh. Uh, yeah, this is kind of fascinating. She's lower energy than she normally is. She just admitted she didn't see COVID-19 coming, 
which should cause her to hit the stop button on the recording of her video and go, you know, I'm not a real prophet, mm -hmm. you know, or an apostle. She's not the whole fivefold ministry in one person, that's for sure. I should start a Facebook group for recovering false prophets. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, Ooh, and I will turn idea. some people. You do that. I'll send some people to you. Okay, you know? perfect. That's a great yeah. idea. False prophets yeah. anonymous sounds like a yes. really good idea. Oh. That's right. It needs to begin with people saying like, "Hello, my name is Daniel Kalenda, and I'm a false prophet." And I used <laughs> to be a false prophet. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I see what you're saying, but let's keep going here. This is interesting. Thing is that God's response was for them to move forward. And, and and you have to remember that at this point, he hadn't even performed the miracle yet. He hadn't parted the Red Sea yet. Yet he was telling them to move forward. People of God, hear this word. This is what the Spirit of God is saying for me. Move forward forward move forward so it's a get ready and like i said for prophetic movements and shifts move forward you know prophetic movements as shifts she's not saying anything mm -hmm. here and and how does one exactly move forward i i generally do better when i am moving forward i don't run into things as easily <laughs> you know i remember that incident one time when we went on vacation when josh was an infant and I was backing up at a gas station and I knocked over a, a gas pump while going backwards it, yeah. in Utah. So, yeah, your mother still reminds me of that sometimes. Anyway, so that story. <laughs> so moving forward is a is is it's a good safety feature, uh, but she's not saying anything. All right, oh, she's being as vague as possible. Ex right, exactly. This is these these are th these aren't profundities. Those are these are intentional vagaries. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's keep going. Obedience here. to the prophetic instructions that God then parted the Red Sea, drowned their enemies, and the rest is history, as they say. And so, yeah, that's the background of what was going on, you know, and and the circumstances under which the God spoke that word that prophetic word to them which like i said is very similar to this situation we find ourselves and so what so the covid 19 pandemic is just like being up against the red sea with pharaoh's army behind you yeah i'm not seeing that okay we then expect to see you know in the in the uh, as prophetic manifestations and promises now really beginning to break it down you know number one um expect spectacular that's why god said it's a month of of of, of magnificent wonders you know it's spectacular me because you know um it was a spectacular miracle you know praise god miracle, that god ah, miracle. miracle. we have miracle Okay. All right. Miracle. Okay. Ooh, we just need an outpouring. <laughs> you know, can I just say how dangerous this is with this woman saying? Oh yeah, please. She's encouraging do. people to move forward. You know, this this is the consistent thing you see with false prophets, and and I used to say before uh, hearing Alistair Begg, January two thousand fifteen, is that this encouraging people to move forward. You're encouraging them to move forward with things that may be dangerous i've said it before but no <laughs> no it doesn't yeah. work like that yeah no th this is this is you're right I, what mm -hmm. she doesn't even know what she's encouraging anybody to do anyway mm -hmm. exactly people might say oh i'm going to sell everything and move to peru or i'm going to divorce my husband or i'm going to start a new business that wouldn't be viable she's saying just do it and it's irresponsible. Yeah. Yep, I, I agree. You know, I I'm agree. reminded of the stories that we've heard from Christ Alignment and places like that where they say, oh, we've, you know, they, they'll interview people that have done the readings or whatever and that are practicing witchcraft or things mm -hmm. like that. And they go, this reading just gave me such affirmation and it was, you know, told me that I'm on the right path and all of this different stuff. And it, it can be so dangerous mm -hmm. yeah it's extremely dangerous and it can ruin people's lives i've heard from people who followed psychics which is the same as a prophet and changed their life mm -hmm. and now they're deeply regretting it 
Yeah. yeah. W- one of the things I've seen happen and, you know, people coming out of the NAR, uh, you know, where they've, they had a prophet or, or you know or a prophetess prophesy something over them they'll say oh the lord has told me that you're you're going to you're going to change the world or you're going to have a huge impact in such and such an industry and that those prophecies those types of prophecies really really trip people up and bind them uh, because what, you know, number one, it, it, they don't pan out. But number two, they then feel like if they're if they don't change the world in that industry or mm-hmm. whatever, or, you know, what, that uh, that uh, that somehow they've let God down or that He's angry with them or whatever. And, and so these these vague prophecies like this have a way of becoming balls and shackles around people's psyches, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to move on from Princess uh, Ebola, and uh, we've already done Joe Lynn. I don't want to do him yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, so this no. this is Nisi. This is Nisi. Uh, she's uh, she's somebody who we featured for the first time in our last prophecy bingo, and uh, and I I believe she was one of the ladies last time who yelled at us. So that's a that's another feature is that some of these false prophets they yell at me. It's you know? a feature. Yeah. So High I'm, decibel I'm, prophecy is a new is a very big industry. Right. So I'm 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 hoping I don't get yelled at this time. But this is Nisi, and let's see what her. Do I start the timer is. to see how long it takes her? <laughs> You're the editor. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's keep going here. Spring has sprung here in Michigan. Not only is the weather getting warm, but suddenly trees are blooming and everything is turning green and beautiful with new life. It feels like a time of awakening. And in my personal relationship with awakening, by the way, is a prophecy bingo word. Lord, spring tends to be the time. So close. So close to new beginning. Okay. A significant amount of prophetic revelation as well as downloads. And boy, do I have... Downloads is a prophecy bingo word. Yep. I have a word for you today. I am feeling the fire of this word burning on the inside of me. So let's jump right in. Take some pepto bismol. So the Lord took me into a phenomenal vision this week where I began to see a number of Josephs rising. And similar to the Joseph in scripture, I watched as Father God began to touch each of these Josephs and cloak them with what looked like a coat of many colors. So uh, God's raising up a bunch of guys wearing colorful coats. Yeah, okay. That that almost got Joseph killed, by the way. So, yeah, just saying. And as I sat and just observe this mantling of these Josephs. Mantle, Mantle is a prophecy bingo word. I've got it here. The- yeah! <laughs> no, she, she used it as a verb. I only have mantle. Well, that counts. That counts. Okay. Yeah, Permutations right. of the same word is still, so counts. That counts, yeah. and we don't even count that as cheating. Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cheating's still coming up. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm feeling an outpouring coming, you know? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if you know this, Doreen, but it's anytime, true, anytime true. one of these people just start blathering and speaking in tongues, yeah. we can interpret what. They're saying. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. uh, that's that's right. I, I I have the gift of the sermon, so I can interpret. <laughs> I can interpret gibberish. I do. I'm really good at it too. So, <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> beautiful cloaks that had just multi-dimensional colors as well as textures. I heard the Lord say very clearly, Nisi, there is a massive wealth transfer. That- oh, oh that, that's a big that, one. That, that, that's, that's a big, big one. one. Oh, it's not on this card. Oh, oh, that is... Oh, man. When I was in the latter rain, we were hearing about that wealth transfer all the <laughs> way back then. Uh, okay, let's keep going. It's about to happen. And I am raising up many Josephs in this hour to steward the wealth transfer for my kingdom. 
Now, I really believe that the coat of many colors has many implications. One of which is that the coat of many colors represents multi-talented people. There are many people who are watching me right now who have a lot of talent and a lot of abilities. I'm seeing a number of people who have so many talents that it almost becomes overwhelming to know what to do with it. I'm seeing people who are talented and skilled creatively in many different creatively. creative Cre creativity. Yeah, creativity. Yep, I saw that. I, she's not saying anything Believe either. I, I see talented people. <laughs> I see talented people. <laughs> what, what, what was it that Robert Tilton says? I've seen midgets grow. You know, <laughs> that's a direct quote from from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I remember that uh, th that he was praying one time, and he says, "I don't make this stuff up. I've seen midgets grow." <laughs> I I'm not making yeah that that's, never mind. People today insensitivity. You, you're looking at me weird. Stop it. <laughs> okay, back to Nisi. As well as people who have multiple scientific and more analytical giftings. I'm even seeing that there are a number of people watching me who have a unique combination of being able to function in the science realm, but also you have a. Okay, realm is a uh, prophecy bingo. What is the science realm? You know, is, I think is that's there where a... Bill Nye, the science guy, holds dominion. Like, or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, he's like, you know, he's a science Got pope. And he's like, I <laughs> demand that there be global warming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't have asked the question. <laughs> Continuing on. Brilliant creative ability that's on your life as well. And so I really believe that the coat of many colors represents She's starting to amp up in her uh, mm -hmm. in her yeah. volume. And I no. want to just point out this meditative music she's got behind her. That's exactly Please. the music we used in new age videos like this. It puts you okay. it puts some people into kind of a trance which makes them more open. You know, I, I, I one of the working theories I have regarding s some of the so-called manifestations of the Holy Spirit is that uh, is that these are people who are very sympathetic to hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I I remember, oh man, this is decades ago, seeing a uh, a, a traveling hypnotist show and just shocked uh, at at how many people were very uh, well. Let's just say you know sympathetic to uh to these things whereas other people are like immune to it you know it's it's a it's a fascinating thing and i remember watching him uh you know he had called like five people up on the stage that uh that had volunteered and um and he you know he put them into a trance at least and what was really fascinating is the way he did it is that when he finally snapped his fingers there were like you know, another eight, nine, ten people in the audience who also flumped over as soon as he snapped his fingers. I'm thinking, wow, there are that many people who are sympathetic to hypnosis that uh, they weren't even on the stage, and they were now in the in the in the trance that these other people were. It's weird. It was really weird. Yeah, they're suggestible. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're suggestible. There we go. All right, let's come back to Nisi. Uh, she's. I hope she doesn't start yelling at me. I hate it when I get yelled at by these people. All right, let's keep going here. Since in many ways, the different facets of talent and of ability and of creative gifting that the Lord has placed on the Josephs who are watching this. The coat of many colors also represents the different facets of society that these Josephs will be able to influence. Gone are the days when people are functioning in a single mode. I'm seeing very clearly that there are multi-passionate multi-talented people who are arising, who not only function in business, but they're able to touch business and government as well as entertainment. Oh, yeah. Seven mountains here. Government, mm -hmm. business, entertainment. She's pulling the whole NAR uh, Dominionist thing here. Okay. And at the same time, I'm seeing very clearly Joseph's Arise, who have a ministerial anointing on their life. Anointing is a prophecy bingo word. 
who also are able to tell stories and impact media. I'm seeing many Josephs arise in the arts, whereby not only are they anointed with an understanding to do business, but they create beautiful projects and beautiful things that spread the kingdom of God. The Lord is raising up a number of people who will be very influential in multiple sectors of society at the same time. And I see very clearly that these people are going to be very instrumental in the wealth transfer that is happening. Because the reality is we're coming into one of the greatest outpourings and one of the great outpouring. 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 Oh. Bingo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. We didn't even have to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can help Doreen Congratulations. Out. No, this is your birthday present. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. It's a birthday miracle. It's a birthday. God bless us, everyone. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, Doreen, out of sympathy and for, for the rest of the people who are watching, I, this is it's a very rare thing that I actually get a bingo without cheating. Um, so we, we'll, uh, we will uh, come back to uh, our... I'm going to move on from this lady because she's just spewing Seven Mountain mm-hmm. Mandate kind of stuff. And the whole wealth transfer thing, I've been hearing that for dec- decades. And, uh, oh, no. Yeah, Russ Walden. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. He, he yells... He, he, it's okay. It's not that he yells. It's just that he delivers his prophecies in an annoyed kind of tone. Okay. <laughs> and God. so yeah, it's like, you know, I, I, and I don't know if he's annoyed or if uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't quite get it, but uh, all right, let's, uh, let's check in with Russ Walden here. Great with child. The man child company is coming forth in this season. The man child company. Are these a bunch of guys living in their mom's basement playing video <laughs> games? What is this? <laughs> well, usually it's a, the, the people that are the man child are like the ones who go with about the big banana. <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. Let's keep going here. And know that there is a portion and that there is a place for you and that. Portion is a yeah. Portion is a, a prophecy buzzword here. Which I'm about to do, regardless of what medical science says. Fear not those things that are raging through the ranks of the unconverted. Regardless what the financial analyst says, keep your mind stayed on me, for I am not only your healing, I am your health. I am not only your provision, I am your pro- provider. As he, nations tremble. What is, was that, Nikki? Is he implying when he says the things that are medically raging through the ranks of the unsaved, is he talking about COVID-19? Is he, sure sounds like it. Is he implying that only people who are unsaved mm-hmm. are susceptible okay. to the virus? It is sounding like that, yeah. But uh, you know, it's it's hard to exactly know what he's saying because yeah. he's not saying anything, and he's not saying anything well. He's he's very good at not saying anything. That's that's terrifying, though. If that's what his audience is is, mm-hmm. yeah. if they hear this and and that's what they interpret as coming from God, that's because he said, regardless of what the medical community says that um that's scary for the people yeah and 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 that's another danger of all of this if Mm -hmm. there is a if if he's really endorsing or promoting a theology that somehow makes it sound like christians are exempt from potentially getting Mm covid19 uh he's going to be endangering people's lives Mm -hmm. so um and in this particular case uh, it's not merely their physical life that's at stake it's also their spiritual life considering that they're listening to somebody who's a false prophet like this uh, these people send people to hell. That's how dangerous they are. So, all right, let's keep going. And as men shake and shudder and shake their fists in my face, know that... By the way, shaking is a prophecy buzzword, so... You 
are hidden in the cleft of the rock that I am, says the Father. Now, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Moses was the one hidden in the cleft of the rock while the goodness and glory of God passed by. Uh, and that's where we we learn, God revealed that he is slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love, and pardoning iniquity. And uh, and to, to, for him to take that, that self-revelation of God text and then say that we're hidden in the cleft of God and so, twist it that way, uh, this, is, this is blasphemous. So well, we continue. Safe and secure under my mighty hand. As those around you see nothing but despair, I will show you my glory. I will make myself known to you in the midst of the overthrow. Fear not, neither be dismayed, for destruction and loss are not the bread of my table where you are concerned. And what happens if somebody experiences destruction and loss in this time you know he's just he's going to destroy their their belief in god altogether all right let's keep going the here. winds of adversity may blow and the people say to the rocks fall on us that is not your portion says god these are the days of the rock cut out of the mountain these are the days of my kingdom set up even as the kingdoms of men are being the rock cut out of the mountain, that's a reference to uh, one of the visions of Daniel. Or was it Nebuchadnezzar, the rock that was cut out of the mountain that was not cut by hands and destroyed the uh, kingdoms of the earth? That's an eschatological reference, not something that was t w it w uh, even applies in the way he's, uh, he's putting it. Oh, this is annoying. All right. Okay, guys, let's, let's go ahead and rip this Band-Aid off. Are you ready? Oh, boy. No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we're going to go all the way to the beginning because how she oh. introduces herself is so interesting. Here we go. Hi, and welcome to Perfect Success. I'm Kay National and Messenger and Crawford. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I had her on double super speed. Super speed, right from yep. the she, she, yeah. she delves into the high decimal prophecies, it, too, so it, beware. It's the, yeah, me putting her at double speed was a, uh, as a defense mechanism, but uh, <laughs> let me back this up. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Sorry, I freaked out there. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, and welcome to Prophetic Success. I'm Kay Nash, and I'm a messenger and prophetess of the Lord. I've been in full-time ministry for seven years, traveling domestically and internationally and teaching people online and through resources such as... The fact that people would put her on an airplane and send her, uh, send her to another country to spew this nonsense is, is just an indictment against the, the visible body of Christ. Anyway, that we're hoping she wouldn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Josh. <laughs> Let's keep going. Books, and today I feel led to share a word for the next two months. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Mm -mm. All right. So this word is for. I feel the Holy Ghost so strongly right now. This word is. She felt the Holy Ghost there. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. She made the yummy sounds. So, okay. May and June 2020, okay? So this next two-month period, I believe we're in a eight-week time frame. We're in the time frame when Pentecost is going to happen, where people are going to come out of quarantine, and things are going to be different. There's going to be some shifts and changes. Um, yeah, shifts and changes. There we go, yeah. And so I want to give you the word of the Lord. I have some rhema. I have some biblical. Rhema. Yep. Yeah. Again. Verses I felt highlighting, and so let's jump into it. Jesus, Lord, I just pray right now whew, that you are here amidst this thing, God. You are here moving and shaking in our lives, God. You are moving and shaking in our lives. For such a time as this, you are qualified for the call. You are qualified for the call. Somebody needs to hear that. You are qualified for the call. Hallelujah. Mm. It is time to go to the new place. Your provision is there. Provision is a prophecy. Have you ever seen anything quite like this, uh, Doreen? 
Uh, only on your channel. <laughs> I would. I would. I don't even know how you find her on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, it's shocking, and we see a clear pattern with all these false prophets. They yeah. are just babbling to stroke people's egos to have viewers. Yeah, and I, I would note as the time that we're recording this, which is May eleventh, this this video of hers has been viewed seventeen thousand times. Seventeen thousand. And I don't think the majority of the people watching her are watching her because they think she's Looney Tunes. They, sh if you know, that's so they they think that there's a significant portion of these views of people who are thinking this this lady's hearing from God, and she's not. No, you know, you know. So, all right, let's keep going here. Jesus, just like Elijah with the ravens, he had to go somewhere to get his provision. Okay. Mm. And when the brook dried up, he had to go to the next place. Sometimes you have to know when to go to the next place. You have to sense the move of the Holy Ghost. And I believe there's going to be a move of the Holy Ghost in the next two months that are going to bring us into a new land, just like Abraham was brought into a new land. Hmm. All right, let me read to you guys what I felt here. Hmm. 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 Mm. What is that? It's this weird tick that she that, that and it's been there the whole time it's getting worse all right let's keep going uh, some of this was coming out of around genesis 11 and 12 mm, okay i am ready to expand my children but are they ready to go to the new land i have for them i jesus i have a land of prosperity like abraham was given but Abraham had to get the new Jesus. Mm. He had to risk when his father died. We're going to go more on that in a minute. Many of my children have felt pain recently, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't move for me. Mm. It's time to scale a wall like David did. It's time to scale the wall. Mm. Stop just looking at your wall, but start scaling it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what wall am I supposed to be scaling here? I I have no idea what she's talking about. And, I mean, I and, and being browbeaten in the process. It's it's just frightening. We're gonna scale a giant beautiful wall. <laughs> oh no, Josh! I, you, you, you went there. <laughs> you know, Doreen pointed out something earlier that that has kind of got me thinking through all these that these sounds that they're making or the praise Jesus or the hallelujah or the amen it almost sounds like they're you know filling in for what some congregations would give a pastor yep. you know when they're preaching oh yeah oh, yeah they are their own bullpen a little bit yeah oh I, I, I that that that's a good theory I mean it might have legs I, but I think that might be what's going on here you know she's uh, she's used to being one of those interactive congregations and so without the interaction she has to interact with herself mm -hmm. which only makes her sound looney tunes mm -hmm. so all right okay all right i don't think i want to be yelled at anymore and notice all these things that you have to do you have to do them so uh let's check in with oh i'm gonna get yelled at again um <laughs> One more person. One more You're person. Just That's a all I can. For uh, today. This is all I can handle. Uh, you know, and, uh, uh, and after right. this, I'm I'm Masochist. going in. I'm going into my happy place and in, in the fetal position. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, okay, Ryan Lestrange, the he's our final guy here. How are you doing on your prophecy bingo card, Doreen? Well, I'm I'm looking at a screenshot. I don't have anything to mark my my screen oh. with. So. Okay. Oh. So I'll, uh, I'll be waiting to see this on the video when Joshua okay. will superimpose it. We'll, we'll see it. how close you actually got. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. got, all right. Got, I can see that. Okay. Let's keep going now here. Last but not least, the apostle, Ryan Lestrange. I'm a stranger with the Monday word. And my word for you is the breath of God over your life. The breath of God over your life. This is really a prophetic decree. I'm decreeing the breath of God over you. You know, when God created man, he, he gathered the dust earth and breathed in them. And the Hebrew word there is ruha. It means breath, wind. And all throughout the Bible, God uses the breath of God, the breath of heaven, the wind of God to inspire people, to heal people, to deliver people. When the wind of God's blowing over your life, favor's blowing, refreshing's blowing, revival's blowing. Favor. In the upper 
Favor. Yeah, favor, favor is a, a prophecy buzzword. Yep. The wind of God came in as the Holy Spirit came into earth and began to blow. And what did it do? It scattered preachers to all of the, to the four corners of the known earth at that time. And revival broke out. I believe the breath of God is coming over you. Job 33, 4 says the spirit of God has made me and revival. the breath of the all. What was that? Revival. He said revival. He, yeah, he did. He did say revival. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Spewing him out. Left and right. Yeah. He might have a double the... bingo. <laughs> yeah, he's, do, he's doing the machine gun thing here. <laughs> he gives me life. I decree the breath of God is giving you life today. I decree in every area of your life, the breath of God is blowing over you, refreshing you, guiding you, reviving you, delivering you, and healing you. In Genesis 2, 7, the Lord formed man from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living creature. I bind up every spirit that's coming after you. Oh, I've binding. got bind. Yep. Yep. Binding is a yep, word. I've got it here. All right. Okay. Breath, your wind, your revelation, and your life in the name of Jesus. And I decree the breath of God is filling your lungs. Your physical lung capacity is healthy in Jesus' name. I declare that you're filled with revelation, insight, uh, even inside information that God. <laughs> I declare that you're filled with all kinds of things. Okay. Just, it's just machine gun fire. He's just. Yeah. Gonna... Yeah. Well, here are all the buzzwords. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, I mean, this is hard to keep up with. This, this is like the fire hose of uh, pro prophecy buzzwords. Mm, wow. Restoring your are ability. Healed, what was that? I said our physical lungs are healed, though, too. Oh yeah, clearly. Yeah, Coming okay. for that. Well. Yeah. Hey, at least we get get to leave was, here with something. Yeah, that was so. such a random one in there with the other stuff. <laughs> Okay, coming back. Here we go. Receive information and revelation that you will not move in the dark, but you are a child of the light and you move with light, revelation, wisdom, and insight in the authority of the name of Jesus. I declare that over your life. As long as my breath is in me and the spirit of God is in my nostrils. That's Job 27, 3. I say the spirit of God is in you. I say that as you speak, as you pray, as you stand before the Lord, the spirit of the Lord flows from your belly and flow flow, flow. is a yep it's online uh, yep, that, yep. all right that's a word okay. yeah catch thank you yeah i i i'm, I'm the one who put the, 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 oh. the words together so you know it's, i i have i try to remember as many as i can mm -hmm. but okay let's keep going here out of your belly. I say your words are filled with the breath of God. I say your dream life. Yes, Lord, your dream life is filled with the breath of God, that God is coming to you in the night season with dreams and visions that the mind of God. By the way, dreams and visions are part of our uh, our words here. Isn't breathe the one of the words? Uh, say that again. Isn't breathe one of the words? It may be. It may and be. And I think he also said declare at some point. Which yeah, well, decree and declare. Yeah. yeah, decree and declare. Yeah, that, you know, yeah. so... Okay. God, the genius of God is open over your life. I hear the Lord say, expect it, believe for it. The genius, my genius, my ideas, my wit, my innovation, my understanding is coming alive in you, said the Lord. I decree it in the name of Jesus. Psalms 150 verse 6. You know, sometimes I wonder if these guys actually just pull up my yeah. prophecy bingo uh, <laughs> word list and just. Ooh, I want this one this week. He sounds like a rapper too. He sounds like he's <laughs> rapping prophetic words. <laughs> yeah, there is oh, a cadence to. Oh, you could put too. this to a beat, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if he's being that consistent. Oh, don't worry. You you could do you do the hard cuts and just put it to the beat. <laughs> oh, you could do that. Oh gosh. <laughs> he's loath to do that. <laughs> That's so much editing. Sorry, right, Josh. I want to be able. To, I want to be able to get the video out this week. <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> Hey. All right, let, let's keep going. We're, we're almost done with this here. We're, we're in the final stretch, guys. Yes. Okay. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. I decree that you are pra a praiser. I decree that your praise is a weapon. I decree that in the midst of trial, tribulation, adversity, you praise your way out in the name of Jesus. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is breathed out by God, profitable for... T yeah, it is. But this isn't scripture. Yeah, this is this is breathed out by Ryan Lestrange, you know, so aptly named. <laughs>
teaching, reproof, correction, and training. I decree in the name of Jesus that you love the Word of God, that as you read the Word of God, as you meditate the Word of God, that refreshing comes to you, that life comes to you, that new ideas, new directions open up in the name of Jesus. I declare it and I prophesy. Ezekiel 37, 9. He said, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, this saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breathe, and breathe on these slain that they may live. I prophesy and command prophetic breath to come out. What is with that ring in his hand that he's wearing? <laughs> that is huge. It looks like a like a high school class <laughs> ring, and it's red. I've the, I've seen guys that are like into like weird secret societies wearing stuff like that. Okay, that's weird. You, that you are God's prophetic instrument. You say, Ryan, I'm not a prophet. You're a believer. I decree that you are God's prophetic instrument, and you speak in a, in alignment with the will of God. alignment I is. Yeah, that's a, that's a prophecy buzzword. Yep. And he's pointing his finger at me. I, I, I can't handle this guy anymore. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, let's All kind of 30 seconds left, and we're like, nope, abort, no, <laughs> abort. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. It, it's my birthday. I need some sanity. So... <laughs> So, uh, so, so, Doreen, let, let me see if I can help you out. All right. Okay. So, all right. So, you know, <laughs> out, out of mercy, out of mercy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give like two, uh, two completely random, uh, you know, <laughs> prophecy words, and I, it might help you. It may not. Oh, thanks. But, I appreciate uh, it. But, but we'll, we'll, we'll go along those lines, and one of them is going to be uh, uh, one that never shows up unless I do Jennifer LeClaire. It'll be Sneaky Squid. So if you have Sneaky yes. Squid, there you go. <laughs> yes. But on my <laughs> bingo card, it's not capitalized. Oh, well, that's... So? <laughs> I cheat. What does what that mean? <laughs> 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 All right, and then and then the next one is super random. Like it has never come up. I don't even know why I have it. It's gonna be uh, Heidi Baker's uh, Shaba. Yes, <laughs> yes. How did you know? You must be prophetic to know. That. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Uh, no, 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 no. Absolutely am no coordinated cheating at no, all. No, no. I, I, I am pathetic. Okay, there's a difference. It, wow. It's pathetic. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's my birthday or something. <laughs> or is it pathetic? <laughs> yeah. Now, th those of those of you watching, and if you would like to take advantage of Sneaky Squid and Shaba, if it's on your if it's on your prophecy bingo card, and you want actual credit for it. Uh, then uh, you have to at least have subscribed to the channel and like the video. Otherwise, you're cheating, and we don't allow you to do that. Only I am allowed to cheat. <laughs> Touch so, not uh, the anointed bingo card. Oh. That's right. That's right. So, uh, Doreen, uh, you know, real quick, I just want to thank you for coming on the program and giving us your insight. I, in, any like parting thoughts here as we uh, as we're wrapping up? This uh, installment of Prophecy Bingo. This makes me more grateful for my salvation than ever because I was in this world and it is just a mess. It's a hot mess, just like you're saying here, to be in yeah. that world. So thank you, yeah, Jesus, for pulling me out. Yeah, and, and, and the clarity of the Word of God, the Bible, and, and, the, and the comforting message that we find there of what Christ has done for us, it's on every page of Scripture, uh, of God's great love, His mercy for His fallen creation. Uh, and all the different ways in which God has promised to rescue and redeem, to forgive us, and to give us a real hope. Uh, the real hope is not that there's a shaking or a breakthrough or all this, all this nonsense. The real hope we have is, is in the real inheritance we have, and that is the new earth. After the resurrection from the dead and the day of judgment, uh, we will see Christ face to face forever in a world without end. And uh, these people are sent not, not by God, they're sent by the devil to distract us away from the pure and wholesome words of the Word of God, and uh, to keep us from uh, receiving and, and, and having that inheritance and that forgiveness that we have in God, which the Word of God points us to, but these people are not hearing God's words, they are, they're something else. So I appreciate the fact that, uh, uh, that in watching this, it reminds you of, of the great salvation and the mercy God has had on you, and also that we should pr be praying for these people, mm -hmm. because they are, they are either deceived or they are self-deceivers or they are just uh, intentionally uh, lying and duplicitous. There is, no, there is no option here that makes them 
brothers and sisters in Christ who are just do, engaging in slipsy oopsie doopsies and and uh, mis- small mistakes. This is this is blasphemy. All of this, these words are not from God at all. And by them claiming that they're coming from God, they are they are breaking the commandment that says you will not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. And so they are blaspheming God when they do this. So again, the whole point of all of this is to is to is to test these prophecies and to demonstrate that these people are not hearing God. This is not prophecy. I don't know what it is. So, Doreen, I want to thank you again for your time and also for the work that you're putting in on behalf of the body of Christ, and we continue to uh, really enjoy as uh, we watch how God is working through His Word to mature you and to uh, have an impact to open people's eyes to deception so that they can uh, come out of darkness into the light of Christ. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So we're going to wrap it up there. And uh, Josh, I've, I'm just going to let you uh, end the video any old way you want at this point. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, you want, oh. oh, are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, yes.